special now. We're introducing you to special guests from Medford, about an hour south of the Twin Cities, straight down the interstate. They didn't drive themselves, though. They had our friend over here. The, yeah, the, yeah. If, the, if the snakes and alligators could drive a car, that itself would be a very interesting news story. Uh, for a decade now, the Rad Zoo has been bringing reptiles and amphibians to the people. Owner and director Jamie Pastica is here now. Jamie, thank you. Excited to be here. To clarify, the animals did not drive themselves. No, they did not. We have had once where an animal may have crawled out in our vehicle. We were driving a 13-foot <laughs> python and tickled the back of my leg with its tongue. Uh, we had pulled over to the side of the interstate pretty quickly there, but my interns didn't tie the bag tight. And it probably didn't bother you because you know you're mm -hmm. calm. you got to be calm and cool <laughs> around them, right? We do. I, somebody else saw a 13-foot python in the window. It might, might have gotten ugly on the road there, so right. I wanted to move over quickly and get taken care of. Oh, but. Jamie. Tell us about the Rad Zoo. Um, it's a, we're a family-owned business. My wife and I used to take care of the animals down at Disney World at the Animal Kingdom, and mm. we moved back to Minnesota just to kind of start up our own thing. We, we feature about 150 different kinds of snakes, turtles, crocodiles, alligators, a um, few beautiful birds and fish, and we just try to make a fun family experience for the And kids. you guys actually have like a, a, a storefront where people can come and, and you're not just bringing the animals to the people, like people can come mm -hmm. and see you. We do both. We travel around uh, Minnesota bringing our animals up for schools, libraries, birthday parties, different events. And then we've got a, we're at the, we've moved to the Ultra Outlet Mall of Medford and we mm -hmm. feature um, more reptiles and amphibians than you see in almost any zoo in the world. Wow. Well, there you go. All right, we got to meet the first one, the yeah, alligator. When I said, Chris, there's going to be a gator in here. So, dun, 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 drum roll. Oh, I'm getting a peek. Hello, gator. Good morning. Oh, hey, buddy. Welcome to Minnesota Live. <laughs> this is Squirt. She's the second littlest alligator at our zoo. Squirt. She was about as big around as a... Just maybe a tennis ball when we got her, maybe not even a quarter this size a few years ago. Uh -huh. um, as a female or a cow gator, she'll get to be somewhere between 6 and 10 feet long, so she'll be a big girl. Where did you, uh, where'd she come from? Um, we have nine alligators at our zoo. Eight of them were former pets, so we rescue a lot of animals at our zoo, and this is a pet that should never have been a pet. Yeah, I always think about that, and, uh, you know, what seems really cool when it's that big... What was the movie where they, they put the thing down the sewer and they like, you remember that movie? I do, um, yeah, in New York where it's got real yes. yeah. Don't um, try it at home. We had one like, uh, so you lived in Orlando, I lived in Orlando mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. uh, so we had one about that size in our yard uh, way, way back in the day. Is yeah. your and pet? No, 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 no. It was the alligators coming the natural, in the yard there. Right, the natural yeah. pets of so Florida. So I was out taking pictures of it. I was like, my <laughs> wife was freaking out. I mean, at that size, though, Not I'm guessing you'd still about. take a finger, right? Uh, at this size, if it were to bite, I might need a stitch or two. A um, few years from now, it could take Am a I finger. Am I able to hold it? No, could, is that dangerous? I can yes. let you hold it. We, we let kids hold She's it. She's pretty. One hand right behind the front legs, and oh, you want to hold that paper me. towel just underneath. Bring your oh, hand right there. Oh, in case there's a... You know, I have to say, I wasn't expecting. This is a cold... Cold creature. She's cooled down a little bit on the ride here. Oh. They're only as warm as the outside temperature. Look at her trying to get out. She knows that I'm, you're like daddy. She says, this is not my mommy. I was hanging out with daddy. She is very pretty. Wow. She is. They, when they're younger like this, they have these yellow stripes on the body, even yeah. up to mid-size. Um, helps them to hide in the water plants. Most alligators never make it to this size. 97 out of 100 are eaten before they get to be adults. Sure. So where it's a do rough you, life. How do the, how, where, where do you keep them on your on your facility there? Like what uh, kind of? We, we've got a, over 10,000 square feet of animals yeah. at our zoo, and we just we built different um, exhibits. Our, this one lives in the back because she travels for our shows. Sure. Um, but our larger animals have been. Um, we used to have a 12 foot 500 pounder. We had a huge exhibit for him, but he finally passed away at 74 years old. Oh but wow! We just we build out sizes um, exhibits up to the sizes, and then we have um, 20 acres up near um, Hinkley where we're, we're going to build the larger reptile zoo in the future. Oh nice! Cool. As our animals grow up, we're going to expand. Uh, so let's. Are we going to put him away? From and gators then get, move to, on to snakes. The next one. This is snake, my new right? pet. What, did, will Virginia like my uh, my new <laughs> friend? Wow. All right, we're going to we're going to say bye to you now and we're going to say hello to your friend the snake. Jamie, I'm handing you back our lovely little gator. I was just surprised at the cool temps on that. The, oh, here, Alligators. let me help you. Let me help She's you. She's not going Thank quietly. You. She's not going anywhere. I know. She wants to hang out with, with us. We're, we're a fun crowd, aren't we? Okay, so we have a milk snake named Leche. That's milk in Spanish. It is. Is there a reason? 
Um, we do have milk snakes here in Minnesota. They find these in the dairy barn sometimes. I'm not sure if one of these fell into a milk bucket or where their name came yeah. from, but they've had that for hundreds of years. These are really? such beautiful animals. Yeah, they look, can you tell? They look fake. I mean, in the most amazing way. <laughs> if it's, they're it still beautiful. looks like plastic. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, they, they have this bright color. Most of our animals have camouflage to blend in like the alligator mm -hmm. there. These have these bright colors as a warning. Red like a stop sign, yellow and black like bumblebees or wasps. And in nature, these colors usually mean that an animal is dangerous, has venom or poison inside of them. This one is completely harmless, but there are the coral snakes that live down in Florida and Texas yeah. that are that are that have the same colors, the same um, red, red, yellow, and black bands on the body, and those are highly venomous. A bite from one of those could be fatal. Um, so if that snake bit you, it wouldn't, they wouldn't do it. Wouldn't even need a band. It would sting. Oh, barely. Well, then can like I hold this snake. one too? Certainly. Jamie said they didn't tell me that she was going to ask. Oh, now feel. Okay, that's just weird. Her scales are keratin like our fingernails, so very smooth and dry to the touch. A little cool as well, but your hands are warm oh, up pretty quickly. Oh, the tail is coming back. Or what's <laughs> touching my finger by my ring? Oh, it's the. Okay, that's the, just a like coily. I thought it was a tongue or something. It's <laughs> just the, the body. She, she will flick well, that out to smell. See what's going you're on. You're a beauty too. You heard oh, me sweetheart. giving compliments to your friend. Yes, you're uh, very pretty. You're gorgeous as well. She's only about five years old. She'll get about twice wow. this size. And so soft. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, and then uh, let's let's put her uh, leche away. You don't want to take. Well, we gotta get. We gotta get. We got more oh, friends. Oh, our other here. friends. Yeah, All yeah, right. Yeah. We got our other friends. All right. Yeah, come on. More. I'm gonna help you. You got in there. Now, this was a, a cool frog with a with a with a neck that almost looked clear. Actually, at a, a first, little, a turtle. This is, oh, a turtle. What did they, I say? It has a frog. A frog. It has a okay. frog face from the side there. See. But this is the one of our jam. strangest animals. This is um, this. Stretch, and she is a young snake neck turtle. Well, hi. These are from Australia and. Hopefully she'll bring that out. She's got a neck like a dinosaur when she oh, stretches it out. It is a dino neck. For some reason it looked clear when I first, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, I see you. Wow, look at those eyes open and close. Mm -hmm. You see that? Look at that. You There's see some me strange animals you? down there. Around here she'd be in big trouble. An animal like a river otter or a raccoon could bite her because she can't pull inside her yeah. shell to hide. But wow. in Australia where these live, the main animals they'd have to be afraid of are the crocodiles. And even at full size, when she's got a shell like this and a neck that long, um, a crocodile could still swallow her in one gulp. So it doesn't really matter if oh they can pull in or not. They goodness. just have to be good at staying out of the Jeez, crocodile's that's way. That's so weird. It, it almost looks like a, sa a salamander, mm -hmm. a half salamander, half... <laughs> Turtle. They have some strange animals. Down I think there. the eyes opening and closing, looking at me. I didn't know if that was. Uh, <laughs> I see you. Yep, I see you. Don't worry. So where does she come from? Australia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this one we, is from a turtle farm. She's okay. never lived, She's never been down under. But so if we said good day to her, she wouldn't. <laughs> it wouldn't make much impact on her. Oh, <laughs> oh my. Well, just goodness. good morning then to you. How cool. Look All at right. that neck. So again, if folks want to see you, how do they? How do they do that? Our zoo is open year-round other than a couple holidays. Um, we're all indoors, so when the kids are looking for something fun on rainy or snowy days, yes. and it's not a great day to be outside, come down and see us. We have lots of fun friends for them. Every day we have either a snake or an alligator out for petting, usually both, oh and kids can pet tortoises as well. And Sweet. You've convinced, me. You've convinced me to bring my fam there, Jamie. That was Excellent. cool. Thanks, Jamie. Uh, again, seven yeah. days a week. You can find them at the Outlet Mall in Medford for more information. We'll set you right up on our website, minnesotalive.com.